Hey there, good evening. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. A show that's dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal, and other forms of rock music. So, it's Friday Night Live Experience. I apologize in advance for this video coming out late. Um, had some issues going on today that have uh, distracted me and taken me away from finishing the video that I been working on for the last couple of days. Anyways, um, I finished the video today and I put together my notes and so tonight's um, concert that I've decided to do as opposed to an album. I really was going to do um, a Jim Hendrix live album that I had but for some reason I cannot find it and I'm not sure where it went. It may only actually be on cassette so and I'm not sure what my cassettes are so anyways I chose a live concert um, from Sweden from 1969 on September the 1st about a year before Hendrix's death I, and you, you know if you get to watch this video and I recommend that you see it it's, he's, he's as usual really really good guitar on this I think the bass and the drums are very good in this concert as well they seem to be a bit uh, like withdrawn. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't seem to be kind of a, a life to the video. Not as much life to the video as I was hoping for, but that may just be me because of my issues right now. So, <coughs> anyways, they did seven tracks uh, for the video. The, the last part of the track, the last six or seven minutes of the concert uh, and the frame freezes but the music still going the audio parts still on but the, the frame kind of freezes so just a warning in advance but the songs they do do are, are classic Hendrix stuff really good stuff here so they start out and I'm not even sure what the song was um, I think I, I think it's I live today or I won't live today I can't remember um, anyways, it's a pr it starts out as pretty heavy. The bass and the drums are very rhythmic. Um, actually, they are throughout all of the songs. Um, very very strong presence from the bass and the drums, more than you get in a lot of bands. Um, but you got a strong bass player and a strong uh, and a strong drummer here, and Mitch Mitchell and um, Noel Redding, of course, of the experience. The second track out is Spanish Castle Magic, which is a song I love a lot. Um, very, very distorted guitar solo in this uh, track. The song goes on for a fairly lengthy bit of time too. And Jimmy gets right into it. You can see he's just like, like feeling the whole song. And there's this little part at the end where he's scraping, where he just takes his fingers and puts them across all the fret, all of the core, all the strings and then he just he's like scraping and scratching it's, it's a pretty neat sound um, and then he does a little bit more of a guitar solo in the end of that song as well so the next track up is fire of course um, great track um, it's a kind of haphazard the way they kind of start and kind of little bits and pieces here but they get into it fairly quickly the drums are all over the place in this, and pretty loud too, I think. Uh, and then he does this fantastic guitar solo and, and distortion in the song as well, which is pretty standard from a lot of the stuff that Jimmy does. He just A guy could just make noises that... Unbelievable. You know? Then they go, they slow it down quite a bit in the next track, they do Hey Joe which is very soulful playing on this song. Um, it's like he's almost feeling every single note during this. And it's slow and very intense. That's really, real classic kind of Hendrix stuff, you know. Then they um, they were going to do All Along the Watchtower, but he couldn't remember the lyrics, so they ended up doing Voodoo Child. Another really good track. Uh, it takes a bit of time for them to get it going to like after hey joe there's this little about a minute or two delay before he 
tunes his guitar quite a bit. See, unlike a lot of musicians you see now, you know, somebody's in the back tuning their guitars for them. And then they just come in the hand, they trade off guitars. But he only had the one guitar, so he's doing all the tuning himself. So it takes a bit of time to get that done, you know. Um, this was common back then because, you know, people don't have 30, 40 guitars in that time period. They usually you just got a favorite that they want to use all the time. He's even, I think he even has his upside down right-handed guitar. And he's still using that. Uh, anyways, um, gets going. Guitar part begins is so good at the beginning. That, that, yeah, so good. So, so, so classic Hendrix, you know. Um, then they give this kind of, about, a part way through the song, he this real close up of his hand, his picking hand that is, and you you can see every single single thing he's doing. Wow, I could never do that in a million years, man. Not even if I watched the video and just kept doing it over and over again. <laughs> and then they end off, of course, with this uh, kind of a drum part. Well, it doesn't actually end, but it comes pretty close to the end. Do this long, pretty pretty intense drum solo by um, Mitch Mitchell really really tastefully done and then they end off with a little bit of a, a little bit more of a guitar part the sixth song um, very slow very melodic um, just really uh, bluesy and soulful you know? and then he does a guitar solo that's slow and s very soulful uh, guitar solo it's slow and melodic and everything and that's uh, from the song Red House he does the Red House lyrics at the beginning this long lengthy kind of guitar solo that's very soulful and then does the lyrics at the end for uh, Red House so after they do that he goes into the cream song uh, Sunshine of Your uh, Sunshine of My Love you know, he does that part at the beginning, and then... I don't think they actually do any lyrics on this song. I don't remember hearing any lyrics. They just basically do the guitar part for Sunshine of the Love. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. At the, at the end of the, um... Well, towards the end of the song, just before it freezes... I, I actually, I think it... This, the uh, video part of it froze and you can still hear the audio and then that's when Mitchell goes into this kind of fairly lengthy bass solo um, which is really melodic and pretty heavy um, I think it's the only bass like really bass uh, specialized part in the whole uh, concert but it's really done well so I mean the whole group of them, even though they hadn't played together for about six weeks, you can tell that they just are in sync with all the songs. But there's also this under kind of underlining kind of, I don't know, I guess the stress of the whole thing was getting to them. And even though they played and they played fairly well, you could see that it was kind of a little bit stressful for them. Still, a great concert, you know. Um, I... I uh, I just love listening to Hendrix live and, I, and the only thing better than listening to a live concert by him is probably putting that same live concert on and putting your headphones on because you can then hear every single thing he does. It's just, man, the, guy is, the guy was a gifted, legendary musician, you know, just unfortunate that the stuff that happened to him led to his demise, you know, you know, I, uh, it's just there's such a criminal element in the world that you just can't get away from you know you know people just taking advantage and you know or just misunderstanding too for a lot of times between people because we're not telepathic so we don't really know what's going on in the other person's mind but um, he he was gifted beyond any kind of description you know I, I get a kick out of people say I don't think he was that great I, you're not listening to the same person I'm listening to, um, if that's what you got to say about him. But anyways, um, there you have it. Jimi Hendrix, live from Sweden, Stockholm actually.
um, from 9th, September 1st, 1969. You can find this on the internet if you want to watch it. It's really good. It's worth seeing. And this, of course, ends my Hendrix week, which started out with a look back at the classic Axis Bold as Love album on Monday night. Continue with the with the uh, top 10 favorite Jimi Hendrix experience songs. So that doesn't include the stuff that came out that wasn't from the Jimi Hendrix experience. And then finishing off with this live concert on Friday night. So next week, it'll be a whole new ball game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Tomorrow morning, um, I've decided not to bother with the comic strip kit, uh, the 1970s comic boy. I decided I'm not going to bother with that. I, uh, I just decided I didn't think it was going to uh, be something I wanted to involve myself too much with. I will continue with the book one, um, and I will probably also continue with the video, uh, with the board game one, but they'll come out at the beginning of the month, so it'll be like the first weekend, the first Saturday, and then the second Saturday, I'll just do the two. Um, and I will continue with the uh, videos on Sunday morning for uh, music other than rock will continue. Also, uh, I'm thinking about uh, another particular thing that I might want to do too. And I know that people have been hearing that I've been talking about doing this live uh, stream um, cage match battle of the bands type thing. Um, uh, I've been putting it off for a particular reason that's been going on here. So uh, I'm not sure how that's going to play out yet. So when once I know how that's going to pl all play out, then... Um, I will think about how I'm going to go about doing it. So until then, I'm just going to leave it on the back burner for now. Anyway, so we will do be doing our series, of course, tomorrow morning, or maybe yeah, maybe tomorrow afternoon, and then it'll finish off probably. I think we got Monday, then Wednesday, then Friday, and then Sunday, and I think the last episode will come on the following Tuesday. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming for that too as well, so um, yeah, pretty interesting. I learned a lot doing it. Um, we'll be doing something in July, I'm just not sure what yet. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure what, but I don't really want to let the cat out of the bag until I'm 100% sure, and uh, that'll of course depend on a couple things. So anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's coming out later. Um, situation di dictated that for tonight anyways it'll be out as soon as i can upload it and uh, you have a good night from prog monster goodbye <laughs>